Yeah, hello. Yes, another a vid from Carl Jr. <coughs> another vid from Carl Jr. Um, a little bit personal experience about my life. Um, uh, I was very health conscious at one time. I, I was very. Uh, I was. I have the um, um, a personal trainer uh, um, uh, uh, in me. I was very uh, 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 strong at one time. I used to train really, really hard. So I have this experience, you know. So I'm studying like professional fighters and professional boxing and stuff, and I have a little bit of knowledge of them as well. Um, so I came up with my own theory, and hopefully the doctors and the fighters agree. But um, I figured if I if I choose that lifestyle again, and I, and and somebody sponsors me or trains me to do that, I, I would have to follow that regimen. Okay. So what I heard is like before a fight, a boxer is not supposed to have uh, sex with uh, anybody they're attracted to. If they're bisexual, homosexual, or straight, they're not allowed to have sex. So, why? I know a little bit because the amino and, and, the, and the testosterone leaves to your neck, leaves to your eyes, leaves to your uh, uh, glands. It will leave through your body that strength and that power. I study boxers. I don't name names. When they get in that ring, they, won't, they look like they want to kill the next opponent. I don't name the names, but I, I there's two boxes in my brain that I think follows that regimen. When they get in that ring, yo, the way they're grinding their teeth, like, yo, I'm going to kill this motherfucker. Whatever it is, it is. Uh, okay, I don't name names, uh, but at the same time, I study two boxes, and they're fucking animals. All right, whatever it is, it is. Uh, so let's say I'm training before a fight for two weeks. Um, I don't know if they're following this regimen. This is what I would do. Um, just in case. The only thing that can ruin my fucking regimen two weeks before a fucking fight is what? A wet dream. A wet dream will fuck it all up. But this is the only way. You're either going to have to be in solitude. You got to be in solitude for two weeks. That's one way. You can't have no contact with nobody you're attracted to. Number one, you can't shake hands with nobody you're attracted to. You can't, you can't even fucking look at them, whoever you're attracted to. Because, yo, that, you're fucking, you're going to lose that power from your fucking body before that fight. For those two weeks before that fucking fight. Trust me. The only thing that's going to fucking ruin it is a wet dream. Don't touch that woman. Don't even look at her. You go around there, she says, yo, when you feel her, fuck that. Your balls, you know what I mean? Whatever it is, you know what I mean? Something's going to happen. Even if you don't fucking ejaculate, you're going to lose power. Her love will enter you, and your neck will start getting loose. Your eyeballs will start getting at peace. You don't want that. Two weeks before a fucking fight, I recommend solitude if you can't do this. Don't look at nobody you're attracted to, number one. Lower your fucking, you know what I mean? Don't even look. Don't touch them. Fuck that. You can bust right in your fucking pants. White dream could fucking ruin you as well. Just trust me. If I if I do what they say two weeks before before a fight, <laughs> just be very careful. Just be very fucking. The only thing that ruin is a wet dream. If you get into that ring like that with all that power, all that pain in that ring, yo, when you look at the opponent like these two boxes in my brain, <laughs> yo, these are sick. These are two sick fighters. All the other boxes go in the ring. Yeah, they grill on the opponent. Yeah, they look into the eyes. Yeah. But these two boxes in my brain, yo, they, they want to murder them. They're grinding their teeth, their eyes all black and fuck, yo. Like, I'm going to kill, you know what I mean? I, I just don't, I don't like to, I don't want to talk about boxes because you know what I mean? Because I'm a fan. But these two boxes that always stand out in my fucking brain. And they want to, you know what I mean? Look at the way they grind their teeth, look at their eyes in that ring. Only two boxes that I can think of. I have to study the rest of the boxes. That's another reason why I'm not giving names. I got to study all the boxes. But there's two boxes that have that face. You know, and uh, that's just the regimen, yo. Uh, that's what I heard, you know. We can't, we can't do those things two weeks before a fight. So the only thing that can ruin it is that, you know. Oh, man, that, that shit is hard, yo. For me, I mean, I mean, I mean for these guys, it should be easy because 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 they, they're, because they're training methods. They're, they're training because their body's in shape and they're mentally and physically strong. And they can handle it. But guys like me follow oh, right now for two weeks. <laughs> Oh lord, that shit is hard. <laughs> yeah, but these guys, I mean, I'm sure you know. But I mean, I mean, it's hard, you know. I mean, it's still, I'm sure it's hard. They're men as men, you know. No matter if you're gay, bisexual, or straight, I mean, it's tough. But but two weeks before a fight, I, I mean, you know what I mean? Solitude, or you got to be very fucking careful with your eyes and your hands. And wet dreams is the only thing that can ruin it, you know. So that's just my philosophy. If I'm wrong, the doctors know better. But just trust me. Something about my intuition and my brain is saying this is firm. So you you have to judge it yourself.